Hey guys and welcome back to American Truck Sim. Let's get on the road and we'll see where we're going. Uh, I have sorted out my controller so that it works properly now. Uh, it's not too sensitive. As you can see I can actually like figure it out. I forgot exactly what it was that I had done to it before. But uh, I remembered. Or rather I checked through my emails and found it. Uh, right. Freight market, what's sitting right here where I am? Uh, for 26 bucks a mile. Well, let's uh. There we go. No, no, we want a reverse, please. There we go. Now let's have a look in the job market and see what there is nearby. 26, uh, 26 odd a mile is probably looking like the best that we can get just now. I mean, we could get 35 a mile, but we're looking to drive back to where we are right now. Nice. Uh, yeah, fine. Let's take this. I mean, we are we are right here, so we might as well. I mean, it saves us uh, trucking around for a bit. Right, let's grab this one. It's the most expensive. It doesn't take us that far though. We could go down to that one and that will take us close to 23 a mile as opposed to 26 though. Ah, and that's taking us close to going into Arizona as well. Yeah, let's just take this one. Alright, and let's get into... There we go. There we go, let's just rally this around the, the little car park here. The little car park, the truck stop. Yeah, close enough. Close enough? Not close enough? Not fucking close enough. Lovely. Yuck. I could have like jimmied that around to get it close enough. And... done. Button two. Oh, Need to raise those legs, baby! Alright, let's... Ah, let's go into this one. Seems to make more sense. There we go. And let's get going. A wee scratch at the face and we're off. Don't drive on the wrong side of the road here, Stijo. Ooh. Totally fine. Beautiful. Let's get off. Ah, right. What do we have to talk about today? I've got plenty of shit to talk about today. Um, so last episode we talked about uh, Yon Drama News Channel. Ugh. This episode, uh, what can I talk about, man? There's there's so many so many things that have been bugging me lately. Ah. Uh, so there was right. I'll talk about I'll talk about one of the things that have happened today, and it's happened uh, over the past few months. Uh, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna make this into something that's been an oh fuck an individual occasion, but rather just a a trend that I've been noticing recently, and I bet a lot of you guys have been noticing recently as well. But uh, I don't want this to turn into a kids these days sort of. Uh, sort of rant, but it's kind of similar to, it's kind of what you would expect from an old codger, but uh, let's, uh, kids these days with their funny haircuts and their fucking 
funny catchphrases. I don't get it. No, that's that's not what I'm on about. Yeah, it kind of is. But um, no, it's more the uh, the rise in popularity of the. Oh God, uh, what, don't want to sound like a fucking dick, but this cyberbullying culture that we've got. I mean, when I was younger, I was like fucking cyberbullying. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, don't get me wrong, there were people who were dicks to other people online, but it was more like, yeah, okay, whatever. But I feel like the the rise of things... Like, the people who are dicks online are dicks in real life. Like, what you would get is you would get people from high school getting bullied on their Facebook by other people, and it's like, well, if you if they're bullying you on Facebook, just fucking delete them. Like, move on. Okay, GG, whatever. But what you're beginning to see now is you begin to see these dicks in high school, the uh, what, what, what one is it from a sat? Oh, there it is there. Uh, you're seeing these dicks in high school, the ones that had all their wee cronies and they would say something that is just totally wrong or like the insult wouldn't even make sense or it wouldn't even be intellectual or anything, but the wee cronies would back them up and then they thought they were the shit because they'd made an insult and they're their little fandom that they carried around high school thought it was funny. And I'm sure we can all relate to this in one way or another. Whether you were one of those little dicks who threw out the, the shitty insults and had your cronies, or whether you were on the receiving end, or whether you just witnessed it. But uh, nowadays what we're beginning to see is we're beginning to see these... Where it used to be maybe one or two people or uh, that were like that in your high school that had a little group of maybe four or five people who backed them up. What you begin to see now is you begin to see channels like, and dare I mention the name of our Lord and Saviour, Leafy is here, but uh, you begin to see channels like Leafy's, like um, Drama Alert, and yes, yes Leafy, I doubt you'll ever watch this Calvin, but if you do ever watch this, yes, I'm grouping you up with the fucking Gnome King himself, uh, Mr. Killer Cumstar, and the thing is, you begin to see these people who are essentially professional bullies. So what they do is they've got they've got a following. Excuse me, mate. I needed to get into that fucking lane. You, they've got a following who, let's put it this way, are either young people or impressionable. Um, because young people are impressionable, but young people are or impressionable impressionable adults who want to be... Uh, how to put it? They want to be part of the cool crew, so they think that ragging on other people is an interesting or is a great way to do it. So, uh, how can I say this without sounding like a dick? Uh, oh, why do I care about not sounding like a dick? I am a dick. The people who are like, no, the, the notice me senpais, like the kids in the comment section who will do anything just to get the approval of these people with seeming fame who've done fuck all in their life. So you've got, I don't know, you've got your little Vine stars and your fucking Twitter personalities and this, that and the other. And basically what they're known for is for bullying people and it's like, and they get this sense of self-gratitude because their view counts are going up, their subs, their followers, their whatever the fuck that makes their online penises larger. But this is all going up, and therefore they feel justified in what they're doing because they're getting more popular. Whereas the issue is, they're only getting more popular with the kids who don't want to be bullied and therefore want to associate with the bullies. Which is, once again, the same thing that you'd see in high schools and stuff. You'd see the people who didn't want to be bullied try to be friends with the bullies because, hey, if you can't beat them, join them. And that's pretty much what we're seeing online right now, except you're having other people with influence who aren't necessarily like these people, who aren't necessarily bullies or assholes or whatever the fuck you want to call it. Bullies seem so childish, but you're seeing these people who aren't necessarily that way inclined befriending these people because they don't want to be the next subject of the next video or the next fucking roast or the next fucking Twitter beef or whatever and I just, I just can't be fucked with it. See, to be honest man, if you've got to be a dick, wait until I see you at a convention, I'll knock you out. <laughs> I don't know man, I'm from 
I feel I feel sad saying I'm from a generation that, but because that makes me feel like the aforementioned old fart. But uh, yeah, like I'm from. Let's just say I'm from a place because this did happen when I was younger, but uh, it wasn't so much. When I was younger, if you had an issue with someone, then you took it to them. You didn't hide behind fucking walls of text on some anonymous online social media thing. Hell, like, of course you did. Like, there were se there were times where people would anonymously attack each other and stuff like that. I'm not that fucking old. But, I mean, if you had an issue with someone, you fucking... You punched it out, didn't you? God. Now I'm just rambling about fights. It's... <laughs> But, uh, I don't know, it just annoys me, it annoys this full cronyism, the the full online thing where I've got more followers, quid pro quo, I am right, and it annoys me, it bugs the life out of me. If any of you guys have been following me on Twitter, then you'll you'll probably understand what I'm talking about here, um, with the, the thing that actually happened today, the, for the day of recording, which would be yesterday, because I'm recording this the day before because I've actually not noticed I've been a bit lax on my old uploads as, as of late. Uh, with many a good reason but many a bad reason as well for me being lax on the uploads but um, I digress. So yeah it's just, ah, lately there's been a couple of situations that have really bugged me and just children just thinking they're hot shit when they're just, uh, aforementioned children. Uh, I don't know, guys. Um, where's my fucking lights? Nope. Ah, there we go. Oh, wow. This episode's only 11 minutes long and we're here already, CJ. What are you gonna do now? Apparently this is a dead-end road. It's a dead-end job. Someone's gotta do it. Uh, well, we might as well take another fucking load because we're only 11 minutes in, 12 minutes in. But, yeah, man, like I says, these internet, the internet crony is, can you just quit it? I need to find a, a place to kip after this. Ah, maybe we won't do another delivery because I need to find somewhere to sleep. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know, it's ugh, mob mentality, fucking cronies, like, whatever you want to call it. Crunch, 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 crunch. My bad. Whatever you want to call it, it's just kind of fucking sickening, to be fair. I mean, don't get me wrong, there's a lot of people like, like the aforementioned Leafy or Pyro Cynical, who I've had the pleasure of being able to talk to, actually, and he's not that bad a guy. Um, Pyro, hmm. Let's go and chat about other YouTubers. Way Pyro's not as bad as most, to be perfectly honest with you. And no, it's not because I've chatted to him that I'm like, oh, oh Pyro, oh. Um, it's the the fact that he intentionally. Uh, okay, let's get to my my issue with channels such as Leafy's. And I used to like Leafy. I'd also sp spoken to him a few times on Skype. And he seemed like a stand-up lad. Like, pretty young, of course. Oh, don't fucking stall this shit, mate. Oh my god, really? Oh, can you just stop? There we are. Um, but yeah, like... Leafy used to do... On Leafy's channel, right, he used to do little stories about stuff that happened to him. Alright, most of it fantastical and probably didn't happen to him anyway, but uh, it was still, it's still semi-interesting, which is why I used to like his channel, why I uh, actually wanted to talk to him when I I had the chance. Um, and yeah, it was kind of funny, like, it was kind of, the stories he told were kind of funny, kind of interesting, um, yes, fantastical, but yeah, that's what made them funny. And everyone embellishes stories once in a while, it doesn't make them any less entertaining. So, ah! uh, but yeah, then he turned to the dark side. No, then he, then he turned to doing these videos where he would find, oh fuck a duck, where he would find these other YouTubers and look at their videos and basically slag them off. 
I mean, it started out all right. Like, it started out, he was looking at these videos and he was like, dude, what the fuck are you actually doing in this video? Like, are you for real? Do you realize how cringy it is? Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Which was fine. Like, okay, he was, he was being a bit of a dick to people, but uh, sometimes people deserve to be a, like, have the piss taken out of them if they do something particularly noteworthy. And it was funny. Like, don't get me wrong, it's a bit of, a bit of schadenfreude, a bit of laughing at other people's misfortune. Of course it is. Um, but that's what was funny about it. And the main point I'm trying to make here is that he was slagging off the actions of other people. He was he was slagging off the fact that what they were doing could be considered cringy, out with the social norms, and it was the fact that he was actually looking at it and being like, dude, really? Like, you really just done that? Did you even think about what you just done before you done it? And that was, that was funny. Like, I'll be the first one to say that I enjoyed that content. But then there was a shift, and he began to not be able to say anything funny about the content. I've no idea why, I don't know if it was just due to the, the way that his fan base evolved or not, but I don't know. He ended up, he ended up not talking so much about the content that he was reviewing, reviewing in the broadest sense of the word here, and started talking about the people and that's when I started to get on my goat. My goat was upset because there was a lot of things that were on him. But, um... <laughs> that's when it started to annoy me. Because it was like... You have went from slagging off things that people are doing to slagging off people themselves. You don't know these people. You don't know what they've been through. This, that, or the other. The choices for being who they are. But you're ripping the piss out of them. And that's when I... And that's when this full circle jerk of being a knob end to everyone and anyone kind of started. Or rather, when I noticed it. And I was like, yeah, I'm not happy with this, therefore I stopped watching. And I unsubscribed, etc, etc. But yeah, the fucking hell, man, I've got so far off topic. So, the, the point that I was trying to make in the start of this video when I was saying the kids these days thing is, I actually feel bad for kids growing up now. Not because they're going to be part of this uh, this culture and maybe bullied, no, no, maybe I should feel bad for that, but no, that's not why I feel bad. The reason I feel bad for kids these days is that growing up, my idols were football players and celebrities and maybe that's a bad idea. Um, I could, like, I could go into all the mushy thing and say that, like, my parents were my idols because of what they've done with their lives, etc, etc. Of course they are, like, and I could go through that, but I'm trying to speak in broader terms here, and let's just say, people when I were younger looked up to footballers and sport, uh, sports, sports athletes, good gen, good gen studio, uh, athletes and, uh, singers and this, that and the other, and then we saw the start of reality TV stars, and it was like, ooh, reality TV Ooh. stars, really? And, like, that's all that they were ever known for, ever. And now we're starting to see the the youth of today uh, being influenced by, as the industry likes to call us, influencers, YouTubers, content creators, Vine stars, if that's even a fucking thing. And it's kind of sad, because when you look at the people who they're looking up to, don't get me wrong, like, if someone wants to look up to me, like, I try to... Pfft, I was going to say I try to be a decent role model. I don't. I'm, I'm a human. I try to be the way that I am. I'm a bit of a dick. I, d I do get that. But I'm not an arsehole. I'm a bit of a dick, but I'm not an arsehole. I feel like I've said that before. <laughs> I'm a bit of a dick, but I'm not a proper dick. <laughs> yeah, I'm a bit of a dick. Sure, I get that. But... Like, I don't actively go out and just, like, rip the piss out of people and think that that's the, that's the way that I should live my life and compare myself unto others by the numbers that come after my name on some social media platform. Like, that's just, it's totally ridiculous. Uh, so, what I'm trying to say is that I feel bad for the youth of today and that they're heroes, their idols, the people that they look up to and want to emulate, are people 
like me, yes. But I also fall into the same category as people like Leafy. These people that, like, I don't get that many young people watching me. I get that. Like, I understand that I don't get that many young people watching me. Two seconds. I'm going to go and check what the n next job is that we're going to take while I finish off this thought. Um, I don't get that many young people watching me. I, I, I get that. Like, I understand. There's not that many young people watching me, sure. Uh, we're going to take this one because it, it's a lot less money, but it takes us into uh, Arizona, which is where I want to go. Um, so yeah, I'm not good. Like, I'm not influencing that many young people. Sure, whatever. But this is a do not enter wrong way. Ugh, okay. Somehow, somehow I say no to you. Um. Yeah, but then you've got people who young people do watch, likely feel like these Vine stars who take to Twitter and start beef and their their best insults are you are ugly, and like. That's not the way that you should be, like, people need to stop promoting people like this. Businesses and anyone who sees anyone that they work with being like this needs to fucking stamp it out. Because the fact that they're not stamping it out, even if you don't actively encourage it, the fact that you sit there and say nothing is, in their eyes, justification and approval. And that shit needs to stop. Like. I do apologise this has been a bit of a, a heavier American Truck Sim episode. I probably should have steered away from the heavy stuff until we got at least a couple episodes into the series, but... Uh, why the fuck not? That's just what was on my mind today. And I'll probably, no doubt, have many more things on my mind in the future. That we'll talk about that will be of lighter topics and funnier. But yeah. I mean, as usual guys, feel free to share your mind in the comment section below if you have basically anything to say. I don't censor, especially American Truck Sim, like, I won't come in and say you're a fucking cunt, you don't know what you're talking about, etc, etc. I am the god almighty Steejo because obviously I've got more subs than you, therefore I am fucking King Big Boss. But yeah, I mean, like, if you've got anything to say about it and if you... If you've had the same thoughts and or feelings that I've expressed in this video, then please do chuck them in the comment section below. Fucking hell, I sound like something after a TV show. If you've been affected by any of the things in this program, you feel free to call such and such. Like, fucking hell, Steejo, shut the fuck up. But anyway, as always guys, thanks a lot for watching. I've been Steejo, you've been awesome. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.